In this video we're going to look at inequalities on number lines. Inequalities can be represented on number lines like this one is shown. Here you've got a hollow circle and an arrow pointing to the right. This would be the inequality x is bigger than 1. Now obviously the arrow pointing to all the numbers bigger than 1 is straightforward so that would be bigger than. If it's a hollow circle it's just bigger than. If it's shaded in it would be bigger than or equal to 1. And the number that the circle is at would be what number it's going to be bigger than or bigger than or equal to, or if it's pointing this way, less than or less than or equal to. Um, I would recommend also watching the video on inequalities to make sure that you know the bigger than, less than, all that stuff. Okay, let's have a look at another inequality. So this time we've got this one. Obviously you've got a hollow circle, so it's going to be just less than or bigger than, okay? Because pointing to the left, to the, to the smaller numbers, it's going to be less than, so you've got x is less than, and because it's 3, it's going to be x is less than 3, like so. Okay, this time we're looking at this inequality. Now as you notice, this one had a hollow circle, so it was x is less than 3. This time it's got a shaded in circle, so you would say x is less than or equal to minus 2. What these inequalities mean is that x can be any value that is less than 3. So it could be 2, 1, 0 0.7, any number at all that is less than 3. This one means that x can be any number that is less than or equal to minus 2. So it could be minus 3, minus 4, minus 3.75. Because it could be actually less than or equal to minus 2, it could also be minus 2. And this time, you'll see we've got two circles. That means this inequality means that x can be any number at all that is between minus 1 and 2. Because it's a hollow circle at 2, it means it can't actually be 2, but this uh, circle at minus 1 is shaded in. That means it can actually be um, minus 1, so it could be minus 1, 0, 1, it can't be 2. It can actually be all the decimal numbers, rational numbers, rational numbers in between. Okay, So it could be uh, minus 0 0.5, it could be 1.5, it could be any number at all between these two values, but not 2. You'd write that as x, because it's bigger than or equal to minus 1, so you've got minus 1 is bigger than or equal to it, so it's x is bigger than or equal to minus 1, but it's going to be less than 2, so it's less than 2. So this inequality reads, x is bigger than or equal to minus 1, but x is less than 2. Okay, let's have a look at some typical questions. So this question says, x is larger than minus 3, show this inequality on a number line. So, because it's just larger than, it's not larger than or equal to, you go to minus 3 and you put a hollow circle. And because it's larger than minus 3, you're going to put an arrow to the right, like so. I'd actually keep the arrow going for quite a while, like that. So that means that x is going to be bigger than minus 3. Let's have a look at another one. This time we've been asked to draw the inequality x is larger than 0. So you go to 0, because it's just larger than, it's not larger than or equal to, you do a hollow circle. And because it's larger than, you're going to go to the right. So it's x is larger than minus 2. Or sorry, x is larger than 0. This time we've been asked to do the inequality, x is smaller than 3. So you go to 3, it's just smaller than, so you do a hollow circle of 3. And smaller than means it's going to be smaller than 3, so it's going to be to the left, like so. So this is x is smaller than 3, or less than 3. Okay, let's have a look at number 1. This time the inequality is x is larger than or equal to 4, or greater than or equal to 4. So you go to 4, and because it's larger than or equal to, you do a shaded in circle of 4. And because it's going to be larger than it, again, you just do an arrow to the right, like so. Okay, this time we've been asked to do the inequality. X is bigger than 1, but X is less than 5. So we're going to do some circles at 1 and 5. And because they're just greater than and less than, there's no equal to part. They're going to be hollow circles. So you do a hollow circle at 1 and a hollow circle at 5. And it can be any number in between those. So you just join up those two hollow circles. If this did say less than or equal to 5, you would shade in the circle there like so. 